How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a loading spinner component using React and TypeScript. Now this here is going to be really easy to do. It's going to be reusable and you can add it to pretty much any existing React project which you may have. Now on the right side we have the finished product. As you can see it's a nice loading spinner with an animation that goes around with that green fill. Now we're going to be adding support for multiple props and options to pass in. For example a size do you want a small medium or large loading spinner and the same goes for the color of the actual fill itself I've chosen green you can choose whatever you like so those are going to be props to pass into the component itself now let's go inside this tab right here and begin from scratch to create what I just showed you we're going to begin by making a new folder under components called loading spinner within here we're going to make two files loading spinner.css then loading spinner.tsx, okay, for the actual component. So let's begin inside the component file itself. We're going to export default function um, loading spinner. There we go. I'm just going to simply uh, return some text to verify it's actually working. I'll say loading dot dot dot. There we go. I'll save this, then go inside the app file and simply render out that component. I'm going to say loading spinner just like this. I'll save it. In the browser, we now see the text. Therefore, we know that yes, this component is actually working. So let's now define some props to provide to the component itself. We're going to say interface loading spinner props. Okay. Like I was saying earlier, we've got a size, small, medium, or large, as well as a color to pass in as options. Let's begin with the color. It's going to be an optional prop with a type of string. Then the size is going to be optional once again, but this time we're going to say small, medium, or large. So using the pipe character there, we can restrict it to these three possibilities. Okay. Now let's provide this props type to the component. We're going to say props, then colon loading spinner props right here. Then simply uh, use object destructuring on the props uh, parameter to just say here, look, let's extract out the color and the size. So now I'll just minimize the sidebar here. Now we can access color and size directly in the component itself. Okay, so we have the foundations ready. Before going into the CSS, let's just set some defaults for the props in case somebody calls it like this where there's no props provided. So um, let's say color equal to red by default and size equal to medium by default. There we go. And we can now work on the CSS. So the spinner itself is going to be represented by a simple HTML div element. Okay, so down here, we're going to return a div all right, with a class name of loading dash spinner. I'm going to close off the div just like this because there's no need to provide any content inside the element. It's simply just a container for the spinner itself. Okay. Now also I'm using a simple CSS class here. You could use CSS modules or use scoped CSS in some fashion, but I've chosen to keep it simple and accessible to most of my viewers. So we're using a simple CSS class here. Okay. Now, when it comes to the CSS, let's go inside the CSS file and target the loading dash spinner class. This here will have a width and a height of 50 pixels. Okay. As for the border, we're going to say calc, then say 50 pixels divided by five. That's the border width. We're going to say solid and then use a light gray. All right. I'll save this just to see how we're going. And I'm going to import the CSS file. So import uh, loading spinner.css. There we go. I'll save this and we get this in the browser. So essentially this gray border is the circle border as you can see right here. But how do we turn it into a circle? That's done using border dash radius of 50%. Let's also add in here a box sizing of border box. All right. I'll save this and there we go. How do we now get the green fill at the top here? This is done using border top color because the border is curved through border radius. It's also going to curve the top border. Let's say here black as the color. Okay. Keep it simple for now. I'll save this and there we go. All right. It's a black, um, black border at the top there. So let's make this now animate and turn around, you know, like a spinner. Let's define some keyframes. We'll say at keyframes here, then call this uh, set of keyframes simply just loading. All right. We're going to say from transform 
okay, rotate zero degrees. So this here is saying, look, I've got this animation. Animation is going to start in this state here, a zero degree rotation on the element like this, right? I'm going to say here now to transform, rotate one turn. At the end of the animation, we want to complete one full rotation of the spinner, okay? Applying this now, we're going to say animation, loading, 0.75 seconds, ease, and then infinite. So make this animation happen infinitely. I'll save this and bang, there we go. It is now spinning around, all right? How do we now apply the color from the prop? To do that, we're going to use simple inline CSS. We're going to say style on the, on the component, sorry, on the element, the div element. Style, provide an object, so then say border top color and set this to be the color which gets passed in right here. In this case, red as the default, save this and there we go, okay? Let's provide a color to test it out in the prop, color and make this blue and yes, it did indeed change to blue so we know that's working, right? Fantastic, so what about this sizing situation? How do I apply a small, medium or large size to the spinner? This, is here, uh, this here is going to be done using more CSS classes. So let's define a new CSS class here. We're going to say loading dash spinner dash dash small. Okay. This class here is going to do a single thing. It's going to update a CSS variable. This variable is going to be called loading spinner size. Okay. Let's set this here to be 25 pixels. Now, a CSS variable like this is simply storing a value inside this identifier. I can now use this, right? I can copy this here. I can use this variable up inside the, the main class, okay? Let's control D here to select the next 50px uh, token. I'm now gonna say var like this, then provide loading spinner size. I'll save this and we can see we get nothing in the browser. That's because I'm yet to define a default for that variable. Let's copy this and in the top here, paste that and make this 50 pixels by default. Save this and it's back, okay? Everything looks the same though, right? Because it was 50 before. Now we're passing it in here in the calculations, yeah? So let's apply this loading spinner small class to the actual class here. I'll say space uh, loading spinner small. I'll save this and it gets smaller. And the reason why we're using calc here is because we want the border size to scale with the width and height of the spinner itself, okay? So now it's gonna be as simple as just simply, uh, you know, passing in that size to the actual class name here. So let's just uh, use uh, template literals here. So curly bracket, backtick, and the same over here. There we go. And then simply say dollar sign, curly bracket, and pass in that size. So now if you choose small, medium, large, it's gonna add that dash dash uh, class to your uh, element. Let's define those extra two here. So of course, medium. And lastly, just uh, large here. Make the medium, let's just do 50 pixels, same as the default, it doesn't matter too much, right? Then of course, the large being 75 pixels, I'll save this. Now I can go inside here and I can say size as large, save this and it gets much bigger. So you can of course add, um, you know, however many sizes you want and it should work perfectly fine. So that's how to create a loading spinner using React and TypeScript. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.